Hey everybody, thanks for coming to my channel. Today I have the second Paper Craft Society box, just came in the mail today. Just so you know, uh, it came, let's see, today's the 13th of the month. Of course, I'm in the U.S., so it takes almost a couple weeks. It's a little hard to wait sometimes, but um, anyway, it arrived safe and sound. Um, in spite of the postman stuffing it into my <laughs> box in, in unwieldy ways but I'm gonna go ahead and open it I have only gone like this with it that's all I've done so can't wait to see all right so this is the Helen Griffin one now I do have a lot of her simply made craft uh, brand dies because she makes a lot of boxes and things and though I can make them from scratch it's a lot easier to throw a die through um, and make quick gifts so you get the wonderful envelope and then you get the little extra bits in here so we'll come back to this and by the way, um, it has the info on the side so that you can kind of store all your Paper Craft Society envelopes together. Some little fun funfetti there. <laughs> Makes it a little fun. So this metallic pen, interested to see how that works. Ooh. That's very, very shiny and nice. Uh, a nice brush tip. Um, on that that's very nice to write with so that's nice nice little something something to add to your stash Throw this away. of course we have the cubes that um, you're sort of collecting and I believe they're hybrid inks so we've got a pink a blue and a purple which obviously will go with the kits colors we have these crystal brads to add or two out here. So they've got a little a shiny bit in the middle there. Green ribbon. Brads. So quite a bit of that for handles and such. And then a little card going and digging. That's what I would do. Um, and then she has some mat sizes on here. Now they are all in centimeters. Um, oh no, it's got, oh, that, that'll be good for me because obviously I'm in the U.S. and we use, um, so some pinks, like a purple, bright purple, and then a bright blue. The, um, inspiration booklet that gives you projects to work on, as well as advertisements. And then if we quickly open this up, my battery's going, <laughs> um, and I'll have some projects with this. Got it upside down, of course. So over here on the left, you've got your stamp set and some toppers with the silver. Those are nice in a pinch. So, um, I want to share with you some projects and then we're going to jump in and make a bag. So let me show you the three cards. Now Helen Griffin, I think of her as, um, not that she doesn't make cards, um, but I really think of her as a big 3D project person, um, mini albums and things like that, and that's great. We need lots of that because <laughs> these dies are perfect for that. But they're also, this kit can be used for cards. So if you're not a 3D make kind of person, don't fret about that. There are ways you can use this. So the first card, I'll go from more simple to <laughs> just different. I just want you to see the variety here. So this is an A2 size card that is a landscape. My fingers are cold. I've got my heater running. Um, uh, I can't open it. <laughs> there we go. So a landscape card that's an A2 American size card. And I've used the papers and the cardstock. So I've basically layered them up this way from blue purple pattern to this leftover strip that I had from cutting these down. Um, and I did the same blue purple pattern. And then I used the ribbon in the kit. And then I used one of the sentiments. So this says congratulations. So this is just a wintry congratulatory card. This is not necessarily a, this is not a Christmas card. Um, so it just shows you again the versatility. It doesn't have to be Christmas just because it's got snowflakes on it, right? Uh, in Michigan, we have snowflakes in November, <laughs> all the way to about March or April, and sometimes May. You're not really safe until July and August. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this is <clears throat> a simple card that you can make. 
Then I wanted to use some of the inks that you get, these gray inks in the kit. So I did a few ink techniques. Here's this card. Again, it's A2 size. Give me a close-up look there. So the first thing I did with my white panel was I blended with a blending brush and I blended the ink around. And then I took my ink pad and um, I'm going to leave it closed. but. Uh, and swooshed, just smeared it down and then got shorter and shorter. So it's got this sort of gradient look about it there. Um, and then I took that same ink and I took the stamp, this one from the stamp set that comes in your kit, and I stamped that on the background. And then I took also the Best Wishes stamp and I stamped that and cut it out with the die that comes with that. And then these black, might be a little bit hard to see here, uh, black foliage is somewhere, here it is, these two. Now they do all come linked together and I have to say as much as I love the kit, I detest cutting dies apart. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, I feel like I, I'm so clumsy. I feel like I'm always going to cut myself. But um, you could just bend them and break them off, but then you're going to have to give them a clip. But anyway, those two, I just ran it through my die cutting machine three times with some black card. And uh, that's what you got. And I added some Nouveau Winter uh, Blizzard, I believe it's called, uh, dots to that. I don't know if you can see them in person. They're really pretty might be hard to see on camera. So another simple card that you can make just using a few of the products. Um, thirdly, I wanted to use the bag die in a different way that wasn't a bag. So I went ahead and made this card. This is a square card. And so I cut it through on that pink cardstock and then I cut another, just the top bit here, um, pink cardstock, and then I cut it with my scissors. So I have two of these pink bits there. I glued the pattern paper onto that pink, glued that down, inked it on the edges with the ink and then to cover the seam I used one of the toppers and that covers my seam and then to make my card I, base I scored it half a half inch fold that over and then to glued that so when the person so it's a tent fold card stands like that and when you open it up um, if you don't like that you can cover that with another panel but I put some of the snowflakes on the inside and then used the topper here and the bow is made from a piece of cardstock that I used the silver pen and went and cut out the bow out of that and then I used that so another simple card and yet something a little different with that ornate topper and then using it twice like that gives a little something different there and then today, I'm going to use the bag die, but I'm not going to do it with the papers that came in the kit. I wanted to try something different. So to make the bag, you need two of these. Um, I'm not using the panel today, but this would be a matting panel. You need two sides and then two bottom flaps. It's got like a botanical, double-sided, um, and I thought it'd be nice for the fall, <laughs> if I can have fall back, and uh, Christmassy season um, and into the spring even. So something you can make and keep in your stash. It's a nice size bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold back these two. It's nice to have the double-sided paper if you can, because then, you know, you have that nice inside, but. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my uh, other microphone here. I'm using Terran tape to go ahead and put that on all of the um, little, uh, oh, it's escaping me, but you know what I'm talking about, those flaps there that uh, connect everything. And you could use wet glue if that's what you prefer, whatever you think is going to hold the strongest, um, especially since it's a bag and we're going to be putting gifts in there. So it's the easy thing there to line up the gussets first. And it's very important to make sure because the gusset's actually shorter than the bag that you line up the bottom pieces so that it's straight. So if you can see there, you'll see the shape as it comes together. Um, kind of looks wonky before you put it together, but um, it all makes sense in the end. And you can make different size bags just by chopping off the main piece. Um, and then you can have a shorter bag. It's easy to do because the bottom flaps are separate pieces. So I think she's made that that way so that um, there's versatility there. 
and yeah, just pulling all that off and putting it together. It's easy to keep it all flat and then add <clears throat> the bottom flaps there. So pieces to put together, but they're not hard. I mean, it all makes sense and it's all measured out for you and all of that. So that's nice. And you can store them flat like that if you want to make a bunch, store them flat. And uh, that's a great way to kind of get ahead of the game, especially if you're Christmas or something like that, or if you're having a shower and you're making a bunch of these or what have you. Um, for the bottom, make, I'm just going to use some wet glue there and fold that over and use a heavy object to sort of help seal the deal there. And um, lots, very roomy, lots of stuff you can fit in there. Different ways you could use for a closure. You could put Velcro bits on there. You could use the I'm trying to pick up that piece there. <laughs> I can't do it. My hands are so cold. Um, and punch holes in there before, back when you die cut it, die cut the, um, the the original pieces, and then you could put string through there. Uh, you could use pegs. Lots of different ways you could go there. Um, and uh, very roomy and cute. And again, millions of ways you could decorate this um, with the panels or just with tags hanging off. Um, lots of lots of options and and that's nice even when you use the usable contents of the kit you're still going to have the stamps and dyes and inks for um many many uh, months and years to come so um yeah it's a very fun little bag there hopefully that inspires you the bag and then the different card ideas I think it's important to see different inspiration because sometimes we get the kit and we're excited to go and then we're like oh what do we do um so anyway just a few cards and a bag there to get your mind working thanks so much for joining me have a great day